This is Inside Troy Athletics. A look at what's going on and what's coming up for Troy University's Trojans. Now, here's your host for Inside Troy Athletics, Jonathan Sellers. Hello and welcome to Inside Troy Athletics. I'm your host, Jonathan Sellers, and today I'm joined by Sandy Atkins, who is the Deputy Director of Athletics for Troy University. And uh, Hello, welcome, John. Sandy. Thank um, you. And I'm just going to keep on saying the same line, but it's busy. <laughs> it's a busy time at Troy, and I know uh, Hall of Fame is this weekend, and that's something we kept on talking about, but it's it's here this week, and uh, it's a big weekend along with that and T-Day and then a, a big right. softball weekend. So uh, first off, let's just cover um, the Hall of Fame. I know it, sure. it's a, a very exciting time, and uh, I know a lot going on for everybody. You know, it is uh, uh, something that we put a lot of time and effort into it. You know, it feels like uh, it really uh, the first of the year we start planning for that. We start contacting the inductees, and so it's a, it's a quite a lengthy process of planning. And, um, of course, you know, we bring all the inductees in beforehand, and we do video acknowledgments uh, of them. So during the banquet itself, we get to show the video. So um, it really is a really nice production that we do, and, of course, it's in Trojan Arena. Right. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it is a, an event that's well prepared. Um, so, you know, we're looking forward to it on Saturday, and, um, you know, it's at 7 o'clock. You can still, uh, you know, you still have a day left to, uh, okay. to get a seat if you wanted to. Certainly just call the athletic department, but, uh, um, you know, 7 o'clock Saturday night, and so we're looking for a really nice event and, uh, um, you know, really to put a culmination on this year's class. And then T-Day will uh, kick off oh, yeah. Saturday. That's always uh, is a fun time and uh, really the chance to kind of celebrate that college football atmosphere in the springtime. Go ahead and do some tailgating, <laughs> do the T-Walk or Trojan Walk. I know that'll be going on this weekend and then followed by the, the scrimmage itself. You know, um, you know, looking back over the time frame when we try to select the Hall of Fame date, we always try to correspond to that with other things that are going on mm -hmm. in athletics. And so, um, you know, it worked out this year where we were able to do that with the culmination of football practice mm -hmm. and T-Day on Saturday as well so um, you know that'll be going on at 12 o'clock on Saturday uh, the weather is supposed to be 87 degrees it's supposed to be very nice um, and then uh, you know we'll also have a softball game that'll be going on Saturday as well so you get some tea day in you get a little softball in you go home and take a shower and you can come back for the Hall of Fame banquet uh, softball will actually be playing three games this weekend two on Friday mm -hmm. and then that one on Saturday so uh, that'll be a big chance to get out there watch softball as you said a beautiful weekend to do so and then Saturday following the game there'll mm -hmm. also be a little chance for for the kids to have some fun as well at, at the softball game you know um, you know, on on the weekend of Easter weekend, you know, softball always backs up their series and play Friday, Saturday instead of Saturday, Sunday, so they can have Easter off. So um, they'll be having a doubleheader on Friday, of which um, the first game Friday, Melanie Davis is, is the, the former softball coach that's going to the Hall of Fame is actually going to throw out the first okay. pitch. So, um, and she has a large uh, contingent of uh, <laughs> former athletes that'll be down, uh, you know, for her induction. I'm sure you'll so, be there celebrating I, with her. I absolutely will be there as well. So it's going to be a, it's going to be a lot of fun for me personally. Obviously, uh, having a lot of my former teammates right. uh, come back. But um, so Friday, yeah, we'll have a four o'clock and six o'clock game. And then Saturday at two o'clock, and you're right. Following the two o'clock game to the the softball team, and this is something they've done for years. Um, they're going to have an Easter egg hunt uh, for the kids following the softball game. So it's a great opportunity to come out, uh, bring your children, um, and then have them interact with the the student athletes following the game in an in a Easter egg hunt. Well, and then I know. Uh, let's talk about a recap of what's been going on baseball with a big week last week. The Tuesday game against Alabama, the record-breaking crowd mm -hmm. against the Crimson Tide, followed by a, a walk off win which you just can't beat that a 12 11 victory and i know uh, athletics had to be very excited about that oh you know uh, really excited in a lot of different ways the crowd certainly um was fantastic uh, we had a tremendous amount of alumni come back we had an alumni push uh, we had great student attendance at the event uh, you know, the stands were full mm -hmm. and then of course, uh, you know, the outfield, um, you know, was, it, it's a great atmosphere. You know, there were some tents out there, a lot of uh, grills and, and uh, hamburgers <laughs> being cooked out in the outfield. So, uh, and then, you know, of course the game itself, it was a great game back and forth. And, um, you know, to end that with a walk off, um, you know, it just, you know, it, it made everybody that left feel right. uh, a sense of accomplishment. And it continued over to the weekend. The atmosphere was still great as uh, mm -hmm. Troy faced Georgia Southern. Not quite the, the outcome. They won uh, w the last game, uh, right. one out of three, but it was a, a good shutout victory.
victory on Sunday and some great pitching from Troy. You know, uh, you know, baseball has been a little up and down this year. They've certainly got, uh, um, you know, quite a few more games mm -hmm. to go. There's actually six series left, yeah. three three home series and three away series left. So a lot of opportunity to move up the leaderboard. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, Coach Mark would probably, you know, obviously he wants to win them right. all. So, um, you know, but barring that, um, you know, plenty of, plenty of baseball left to uh, improve on that rating. And then we have some teams starting their conference tournaments pretty soon. Yes, um, you know, April, I think we talked about this last time, April was really busy, but, uh, you know, several teams start to wrap up their season. Our women's golf program starts uh, the Sunbelt Conference Tournament. Actually, the practice round is on um, Saturday, and they play Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, so uh, this, this, this upcoming week. So I'm sorry, the practice round's on Sunday, and they play Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. Uh, and then toward the end of that week is men and women's tennis and then, of course, uh, men's golf uh, championship is the following week. So, um, and we're in really great shape with all four of those sports. Um, you know, women's golf and men's golf uh, consistently are, are, are in the hunt for that conference right. championship every year. And uh, you know, not and even though if they don't win it, still having an opportunity to uh, you know get an invitation to the right. NCAA tournament. And uh, you know, looking at our men and women's tennis teams, women's tennis just beat uh, number 48 uh, uh, Tulane uh, this wow. past weekend. So uh, you know, both of those teams are looking headed in their conference tournament, playing very, very well. Now we had just spoken to uh, we L C C yeah. last week, and how she. Uh, they didn't get off to the best start that they wanted to, but they have really come on as of late, and she's very excited about it, and her team's been very excited. <laughs> right. So good to see going into conference tournament time. Absolutely. Now, I know uh, one other thing. I've been driving down George Wallace Drive and still seeing the construction <laughs> ongoing with uh, the North End Zone facility. I know mm -hmm. people always want to talk about that. and looks like some more dirt is being moved, starting to fill in and working on that, that second level now. Yeah, I uh, noticed that when I was driving <laughs> over here today. And, you know, if you're sitting in the office in the field house, you, you notice it right. <laughs> because you're shaking. <laughs> But um, you know, they looks like they finished uh, forming up uh, the, the the basement area, and uh, are going to actually start on that first level or second floor, if you will. Um, you know, it, it is fun watching it out the window every day that you come yeah. into work, and uh, you know, kind of building it from the ground up. So um, you know, it's it's on track. Um, you know, it's it's. Uh, um, you know, making progress, and, and I just uh, I, I look to stare at the plans and then look out right. the window and, and envision what it's going to look like. All right, Sandy, well, a lot going on, and I know uh, Hall of Fame is always exciting, and good luck to everybody this weekend, and congratulations to everybody that's being inducted. So. Thank you. All right, stay tuned for more coming up on uh, t Inside Troy Athletics. Welcome back to Inside Troy Athletics, and we're here to talk with somebody new in the Troy administration, and that's the Associate Director of Athletics for Sales and Marketing. That's Kyle George. Welcome, Kyle. Thank you. And I said, as I said, you're new here to Troy. Uh, only been here a few weeks now, but it's been a good few weeks for you. Go Absolutely. ahead and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, and what brought you here to Troy. And you said, you know, I've been here a few weeks. Got here at the right time too. Both of our teams win the conference uh, championships for the Sun Belt when it comes to men's and women's basketball. Uh, my first weekend here was actually when we won those championships there. So, got here to Troy. Uh, came here from Southern Miss in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Okay. And ironically enough, my first week here, go back to the state of Mississippi. So, uh, <laughs> go with the women's basketball team in Starkville. Um, it was fun to be a part of that run there with right. them. I, I got here, obviously, at the tail end of it. Didn't get a chance to really experience that season uh, throughout here. But seeing the success of our men's and women's basketball programs, being a part of that, uh, just getting a chance to experience that ride with them. I know our fans were extremely excited about that. Uh, first chance for us to have both of those teams win conference championships in the same year. Um, and a lot of great momentum going for us right now. Um, when it comes to 10-win season in football, conference championships in base, uh, sorry, men's, men's and women's basketball there. Uh, then going into baseball and softball season right now, a lot of great things taking place right now at Troy. Right, and those are really big seasons for Troy, and you've got to see a lot of that atmosphere, the Alabama games, mm -hmm. the, the atmospheres in the outfield and how exciting it is over at softball, just how great that facility is. So a lot of stuff for you to help promote and try to bring fans in with. Absolutely. That's what I'm excited about, too. You know, one of the reasons why I wanted to come here to Troy was the administration we have here on staff already and the coaches that we have, uh, but the facilities here, too. I mean, it's a fantastic atmosphere we have here. You talked about baseball. We said attendance record against Alabama, right. the highest attended game in Riddle Pace uh, field history there. Softball got a chance to host the uh, Sun Belt Conference Championship coming up later in May. Um, Trojan Arena, that place. <laughs> I am so excited to get a chance to work in Trojan Arena there. Um, so a lot of great opportunities here at Troy, and I'm excited just to play a small part in that. Well, and a lot going on in the upcoming weeks. I know uh, this weekend is T-Day as well as Hall of Fame. Those uh, 
will nearly be wrapped up pretty soon. I know everything's pretty much in the books except for the event itself with Hall of Fame, but a lot else going on is w with uh, softball and baseball games coming up over the next few weeks. Absolutely. As you said, with T-Day this weekend at the Vet, uh, noon kickoff for uh, football there. We're going to have a Trojan walk beforehand, so make sure you get out to the game early on to get a chance to come out and see your guys. Uh, kind of that sneak peek glimpse of the 2017 team there. I know Coach Neil Brown and staff have been hard at work all throughout mm -hmm. spring. Uh, very excited to see about what comes next this year mm -hmm. here for us. You know, building off of 10 wins, going and winning the uh, Dollar General Bowl, highest attended season for us in program history um, at Veterans Memorial Stadium. So a lot of great benchmarks hit last year. We want to keep pushing forward and keep getting even right. better there. Uh, so season tickets are obviously a huge part of that. We need fans on board. So come out, purchase season tickets at T-Day or go online to uh, TroyTrojans.com backslash tickets. All the information's online there. Um, speaking about Saturday, too, it'll also be a, a softball game for us that day. They're playing Friday at doubleheader at 4 o'clock and then uh, Saturday at 2 p.m. Got an Easter egg hunt for all kids okay. afterwards out there, too. So a lot of exciting things taking place. You mentioned the Hall of Fame banquet taking place in Trojan Arena as well, too. So it's going to be an exciting day on campus here for us. Now you mentioned the Easter egg hunt. I've got a young one, so I know I'll get a chance for candy if she yes. goes out there. So uh, that, that'll always be, always be exciting. Uh, you mentioned football. Uh, it's a big one. I know it'll still be your first football season right. here at Troy. Uh, anything you're working on already promotion-wise to, to get fans excited about? I know we got a lot of exciting things that have been stored here in, in years past, and so I'm looking forward to seeing what traditions we've had here in place already, but also bringing some new things mm -hmm. hopefully to the table as well, too. Uh, one of the things that I was privileged to work on at, at Southern Miss was our game day environment there, and uh, really pride ourselves on having one of the best, not just in our conference, but in the country with having a great game day environment. That's why I really want to get a chance to, to be involved with and be a part of here at Troy. I know there's great things such as the Sound of the South. I, I'm Super excited to work with the band here. I've seen them firsthand at basketball games and uh, got a great opportunity to work with them, the cheerleaders, uh, get a chance to see Trojan Walk and Game Day, all those different things that are already in place now, and just seeing what else we can add to it to make it better. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being a, a part of that this year. And you mentioned there will be a Trojan Walk uh, pregame on Saturday before, before T Day. What time will that be? Get there 45 minutes before, so 11 15, show up early there for uh, Trojan Walk at, the, at T Day for us here. So again, the guys, 11 15 for Trojan Walk kick off at noon. Uh, it's going to be a, a bit of a um, you know shorter scrimmage there for them there, about roughly an hour and a half. Perfect time for the kids. Okay. That way kids don't get, you know, getting uh, too rambunctious or crazy <laughs> out there. They get a chance to have just enough of their attention span out there. We're also going to have plenty of promotions during the game, okay. so chances for fans to win different prizes, such as jerseys signed by Coach Neil Brown. Got burgers for, for a year from Hardee's. A uh, chance to win all kinds of different things. And it's not just for the promotions themselves, but anybody who's purchased season tickets, if you purchased your season tickets on location as well, too, if you renewed your season tickets, um, all those folks that are supporters, you're going to get a chance to get entered into different drawings as well, too. So come on out. Enjoy some great atmosphere this upcoming uh, Saturday here. Again, 11:15 for Trojan Walk noon kickoff at Veterans Memorial Stadium. And that's followed by softball, and softball also will play Friday. That's and correct. those games are at 4, four o'clock and roughly 6 o'clock. Okay. Depends on how long it is after that first game. So a doubleheader on Friday against ULM. Uh, they'll also play on Saturday at 2 o'clock. Not to look too far ahead, but next week, too, on Tuesday, playing Florida State for a doubleheader on April 18th. A uh, 4 o'clock first pitch for that one. Florida State's currently ranked number one in the country. So okay. big opportunity there for us hosting Florida State next week in softball. Oh, that'll be awesome. So, uh, Kyle, it's nice to meet you and glad to have you here at Troy and look to speak with you more in the future. Thank you very much. All right, stay tuned for more coming up on Inside Troy Athletics. And welcome back for our final segment here on Inside Troy Athletics. And we're here with the new volleyball coach, and that's Coach Josh Lauer. And uh, Coach, you've been around for uh, several months now, and yeah. spring is, is nearly wrapping up for your team. And I know uh, you've got to see a lot of your team this spring. And, and so far, what are your thoughts? Yeah, we've had a good spring so far. Um, the girls are working really hard. Uh, we're introducing a lot of new systems, um, and definitely a new training style. And so uh, it's been really fun. I think everyone's ready for the spring to wrap up so we can kind of shift our focus to finishing school and our academics right. well. Um, but we finish up on Wednesday night uh, here against Samford uh, in a joint practice. And so I know the girls are excited, always excited to play somebody, you know, across the net that's a different team. Well, and people may not realize that, fans may not realize that y'all get the opportunity in, in your practice time to get to play against other teams, scrimmage against other teams. Uh, that's got to be very beneficial for you to see them compete against other schools, against other opponents. Yeah. It brings a different intensity. I think we talked about that last time. But uh, what has that experience been like? What have you seen out of your team uh, scrimmage against other teams? Yeah, so... Um, our first scrimmage was uh, a, a little tournament down in Mobile at the end of February, you know, and so it was interesting because we had just been working with the team for a couple weeks, right? Um, and so we were a little, a little, uh, a little wild, 
Um, but man, our energy and our competitiveness uh, was, at a, was at a really good level. And so it's been fun to see our, our skill improve mm -hmm. over the course of the spring. Mm -hmm. um, we then uh, had a scrimmage here against Alabama State and we were uh, really working on our, on our offense. We've really been focusing on our offense um, this spring. And so it was good to see some progress there, especially with our, our middle setter connections. Um, and then this past weekend, we were in Nashville um, and played another collegiate uh, tournament. Um, and all of this is scrimmages. It doesn't count for anything. But right. We get four of these play dates. And so, um, you know, we, we did some good things there as well. <clears throat> um, in particular, our, our middle setter connection and the offense we're garnering out of, out of that has been really good. And uh, we're really changing the tempo of our offense a lot. So we're really excited about that. It's moving in a good direction. Uh, last year, the roster was very young, and, and that mm -hmm. will continue. Still a lot of sophomores and juniors on the team. So still a lot of youth that you get to work with, hopefully over the next several years. What is that going to be like to have that chance to kind of groom them over the, the next the course of their careers? Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been really exciting. And our girls have been extremely receptive all spring uh, to the new philosophies, to the change in the culture. Um, you know, one of our players, who's a freshman, Bell Waldrop, has been uh, an absolute sponge. She's made great progress um, this this spring. We're excited about the direction that she's going, um, and so, you know, and we've put some people in some different positions and uh, got them out of their box a little bit. Um, Savannah Moore is another young player who uh, played some right side uh, previously. She's playing middle uh, for us here in the spring and doing a really nice job. And so, you know, that young group is, um, you know, they're making great progress. And, and we have some, some veteran players, too, that um, have also been really receptive. And, and they've been good stabilizers, you know, to help that young group understand, right. you know, the work ethic that needs to be put in and the focus that it takes to play at this level. And, you know, players like Logan Page and Alicia Heinrich and Raina Terry, you know, those players really understand, you know, how to train at this level. And so they've been, they've been great models and examples as well. Well, you're, as you said, your spring is almost done, and then you'll kind of segue into summertime where it's more conditioning until you mm -hmm. get that whole team back together, and that'll be uh, more middle, late summer. So I know you're looking forward to that and then getting the schedule going. And I know not complete yet, but you're, you're uh, near completion on that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, our, our entire team is going to be on campus this summer so they can uh, be in the best shape of their lives come mm -hmm. August so we can really focus on volleyball at the beginning of preseason. Um, you know, uh, second weekend we're home here at Troy and uh, we'll have a tournament here in the arena. It's mm -hmm. going to be um, our first opportunity for the fans to see us live and in action uh, mm -hmm. here at home. First weekend we're, um, we're at a tournament at South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So um, we're excited about the schedule this year. Uh, we, got, we got some midweek matches throughout the fall that are I think going to be pretty fun with Alabama State and, and UAB okay. uh, as well as the full Sunbelt Conference schedule. So uh, it'll be some good volleyball in the arena this, yeah. this fall. A lot to look forward to and I know we uh, can't wait to talk to you in the fall all about it. So, Josh, thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jonathan. All right, join us again next time for more on Inside Troy Athletics.